There's no secrets with God. I was thinking about this the other day because a friend of mine pointed out on my Apple um, device how it's got this thing that it can track me. It can track my health. It can track me getting in touch with me about my health. I guess it's a new update that was put on our iPhones a few months ago. And you really have to disable it if you don't want them to be able to check on you some, for some reason or another. And then she taught me another thing that there, when you're going to be around certain areas that you ought to turn off your Bluetooth because, you know, it, uh, like if you have a Siri or some kind of, uh, which my phone has Siri because it's an Apple, then it can always pick up what you're saying. And that's why it, like the other day, I was look. I was just talking about trying to find something on the internet, a, a hinge, an H-shaped hinge. The next time I got on my computer, when I got on my AOL app, it came up those hinges. And I thought, yep, Big Brother is watching. And so there's no secrets with these uh, devices if we're not careful and turn off our Bluetooth and turn off this health app that we have on it. But more importantly, there's no secrets with God. Luke eight seventeen. for nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be, no be known and come abroad. See, there's no secrets with God. Matthew ten twenty six says, fear them not therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed and hid that shall not be known. Everything's going to be known about you. Romans 2.14, in the day when God shall judge the secrets of men by Jesus Christ according to my gospel. He's going to know the secrets and judge us by those secrets. You know, the secrets that we have are things sometimes that we want to hide from people. You know, like we don't want them to know what we are really and truly what we are. Like, I don't know if I'd want you to know how much I play games on my phone. <laughs> you know, but... um but can I say this to you? Another thought that I had when I was thinking about these secrets is you wouldn't worry about what people thought about you if you knew how seldom they do. You know, we worry about the secrets like people are going to find out about them and then they're, they're going to know this about us and they're not going to like us because of this. And I, I have since realized that most of the time people don't sit around and think about me and wondering what I do and what I'm like, and if I, you know, when we get that self-conscious, it makes it, it makes for a hard life. You know, we should worry about the secrets that God knows and can see. We should be careful about the things that, um, that we're doing that wouldn't please him. That, yes, I'm all for it. But you know what? Let's stop worrying about a man finding out our secrets. You know, let's worry about what God thinks and what he knows about us because those are the things that we'll be accountable for and those are the things that make uh, a difference on what our life is like. You know, I every day of my life I want to get up and say, God, today let me do what you want me to do and, and the amount of time you have. You know, I work at home. I have an office in my motor home and I sit in front of a computer hours at a time and sometimes it's hard to keep focused on the work and I have to get up and walk away from it but then I want to come back to it because I got up this morning and I said okay Lord what am I supposed to accomplish today and I wrote those things down and I just try to keep at those goals so yes I God has no secrets he knows all about us uh you don't have to worry about that but you know what let's don't worry about the secrets that people find out about us let's worry about God knowing our secrets let's keep uh our life open to do in his will every single day of our life because he does know us. And you know what? The more he knows us, the more um, he will work through us and in us to be what we're supposed to be. Let's always remember this. God knows no secrets. No, there is no... I said it wrong. God, there's no secrets with God. That's what I meant. Oh! Anyway, rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice.